It's like the Olympics of high school science fairs. The Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Los Angeles showcases groundbreaking research being conducted by teenagers around the world. And one of them goes home $75,000 richer. This year's big winner hails from our corner of the globe. In the category of medicine and health sciences, from Boston, Massachusetts, Nathan Hall. <laughs> the Boston Latin School freshman beat out nearly 1,800 of his peers for developing a tool that detects cancer-causing genes. And Nathan Hahn is here. Welcome and congratulations, Nathan. <laughs> Thanks. It's nice being here. So my first question to you has got to be, what is a teenager doing focusing on coding cancer genes? How did, how did they even, in this one in particular, breast cancer, how did, that, how did, did you get interested in that? Well, I've always sort of been interested in the field of bioinformatics, which is the sort of field my project's um, based in. And that's sort of because it's at the nexus of everything I'm passionate about. Like, my project was a third statistics, a third biology, a third computer science. I just I find all of those things incredibly fascinating. And, and how did you drill down on this? How did you actually figure out, I mean, was it an algorithm? How, how did you figure out what the... What, what, the, what the code was for this uh, gene. Well, I mean, I sort of background knowledge came together in bits and pieces and just like over, over my childhood, I guess. I just had an interest in these things. And sort of like normally, uh, you start out with the problem and then mm -hmm. you find data to solve the problem. But my process was sort of, uh, sort of the opposite. Like there's just all this data online in public domain databases. It's really amazing the sort of like cutting edge mm -hmm. um, data that's out there. And I was thinking sort of what can I do with this data? Um, and... I created and, my project. And now what will the medical world do with it? I mean, are, are, are people looking at this as, as groundbreaking? Is it going to be helpful in the field? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of sort of immediate applications, I guess, um, sort of something straightforward like gene screening, so identifying mm -hmm. uh, particular mutations that do cause cancer, and even just way down the road, um, creating something like 23andMe, so like personal um, genomic analysis with this sort of a new uh, sort of like machine learning approach that I think is really cool. So you're, you're only a freshman, which is just <laughs> yeah. astounding. But is this something that you see yourself pursuing for life, the life sciences? Do you want to be a doctor? What, what, what do you think you want to be? Yeah. I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet, to be honest. I still have to get through high school. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> um, a career in, uh, in the medical field or bioinformatics definitely, definitely seems uh, mm -hmm. really, really interesting. And actually, like when I was working on this project, um, I didn't have a laboratory research mentor. Um, so you know, now all I need is a, a summer job. Um, so oh, if you, I have a feeling there may be one coming your way. <laughs> yeah. So here you are competing with eight. 1,500 other people, you were out in Los Angeles. Did you have any inkling that you could possibly be the winner? I mean, they, like, they didn't tell you beforehand, so it was actually really surprising. Like, um, it was amazing that, that I won. Like, I found out when they announced my name. Really? And so after they had announced the fourth and third place uh, awards, like, I, I, to be honest, like, I, I wasn't thinking that I'd, I'd go home taking, taking, taking home the big prize. So. But you're, you're hoping to place in the top four, but... Once they had eliminated three others, you thought there's no way you're going to get the top one? Yeah, yeah. Cause there's actually like sort of categories. So like there are a bunch of fourth places and a yes. bunch of third places. And like in the recent years at my school, like the best that we've ever done for is around fourth place. So, so yeah. $75,000. Let's see. By the time you're a freshman in college, that won't cover one year. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Since it's at 65 already. What do you think you're going to do with the money? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, save save m almost all of it, most of it for uh, college tuition in the future. But I'm I definitely like to uh, you know consider taking some courses now because there's just so much out there that I that I want to learn. So invested invest some of the money in taking a few. Can you take college courses at this point? Um, yeah, I, I think you actually can. Like, there's a bunch of really cool programs. Like Harvard has a like secondary school like summer program or something. Um, there there are a bunch of programs out there. Mm -hmm. Except they they all cost cost a bit so <laughs> yeah what about edX have you ever tried that? oh yeah edX that's actually um I used the I, I did a, the intro to biology course oh. on the MIT Open intro course you're past that <laughs> yeah but that's like the <laughs> at the undergraduate level intro so it's a uh, it's actually pretty pretty deep but um that's that's sort of where I sort of found my passion for like sort of biotechnology because I had like this biotechnology segment of the curriculum that I found you'll really have to apply for um, paint nest uh, challenge when uh, <laughs> yeah. that'll be your next yeah. <laughs> a couple hundred thousand dollars there. All right, Nathan Hahn, congratulations. Thank you so Great much. Great having you here. <laughs>